Okay, what you're looking at is a before and after of a photograph taken in Tuscany, Italy in 2008. Um, this was taken with a Nikon D70 with an infrared conversion kit. Um, if you Google IR DSLR conversion, uh, you'll come up with a variety of sites that will allow you to take your regular DSLR and convert it to an infrared one. That allows you to capture a completely different light spectrum, as you can tell by the before photo, um, than your regular DSLR will. Uh, now what I'm going to show you how to do today is take this infrared photo that you see on the left hand side of the screen and convert it to a black and white photo that is not only much more appealing, but has a much better contrast. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to reset the photo back to its original. Um, again, this is Lightroom 2. If you're a photographer and you've never used Lightroom before, I highly suggest downloading the demo from Adobe. This is a great tool for anyone that is doing photography. So let's switch back to our single photo view here. And now over on your left hand side of the screen, you're going to see a ton of presets. One of those is creative black and white high contrast and creative black and white low contrast. What I found is that these presets really inhibit the ability to edit the image. So just go ahead and get rid of those. Come over here, um, adjust your exposure a little bit to darken it up. Um, let's see, we'll come down here. This is your tone curve. Uh, with your tone curve, try to make it look as much like an S as possible without really, you know, throwing everything out of proportion. I mean, as you can see, if I come up here, you got your highlights, your lights, your darks, and your shadows. I could really, you know, just blow this way out. And some people might like that. But I like a more subtle, more, a better well-composed photograph, in my opinion. Um, and now what you want to do is you want to take your saturation. Let's go ahead and drop that all the way down. And as you can notice, a lot of the detail just got lost as I dropped that saturation. So we're going to come back to exposure, darken it up again adjust our lights, adjust our darks, hit a little bit of the shadow, a little bit of the highlight there. If you pull that down just a little bit, you can start to pick up more of this tree here. Um, and then you can go ahead and bump your clarity up a little bit. I wouldn't touch that too much. Your vibrance isn't going to do a whole lot here because you are now working on a black and white spectrum. Other than that, uh, you don't really need to touch anything else. You can adjust your temp. Uh, that is going to play with the photograph, but I like to leave those alone unless I'm working with uh, color photographs. Other than that, you now have an infrared converted to a black and white, which is much more appealing than a traditional black and white because you are using a different light spectrum. Um, other than that, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.